Hello and welcome to MacMost Now. I'm Gary. Today let's talk about searching for yourself on the internet. The search for yourself can be deeply spiritual and rewarding. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you type your name into Google to see if anybody's talking about you. There's actually some better ways to do it than performing a basic search. Let's go and take a look. So searching for yourself is as simple as going to Google and typing your name in. But if you have a common name you may actually want to put quotations around it just to narrow the search results a little bit more. But there's a better way of doing it than this. You can use a service called Google Alerts. So Google Alerts can be found at google.com slash alerts. And you don't even have to sign up for anything. All you have to do is type in the search terms just like you would in the Google search engine. And then you can select what type of search. Comprehensive search is everything but you can limit it to just news, blogs, the web, video, or discussions in Google groups. And then you can go and say how often you want to be alerted as it happens once a day or once a week and give your email address. You get a confirmation email and then from that point on Google will perform regular searches for whatever it is you're searching for and you'll get the results via email. So you can search for your name, you can search for your company's name, you can search for a product that you particularly like and you can get those results automatically without having to perform the search all the time. And if you're saving your email it even provides a nice record for you to go back and look at to see who is talking about you or your company. Now if you have a Google account and you log in you have even more control over your Google Alerts. You can go ahead and edit them and you can also receive them as RSS feeds rather than emails. An RSS feed means you can add it to an RSS reader like My Yahoo or iGoogle or anything you may use. So instead of getting emails you have some places you can check every day and see the results of a Google search for you or your company. Another option you may want to look at is a specialty site like FilterBox. FilterBox basically allows you to do the same thing as Google Alerts but with a lot more controls and lots of really cool graphs and charts and things like that. You can get a free account and track up to five different terms and there's pay accounts for more comprehensive things. So if you've got a company or a professional blog and you really want to get into this you might want to check out a site like FilterBox. But nowadays it's not enough just to search the web to see if somebody's talking about you. You want to also search the microblogs. Microblogs are places like Twitter. You can easily search sites like Twitter through interfaces that they have. So to search for yourself on Twitter all you need to do is go to search.twitter.com and then you type in your name or whatever you want to search for and you get the results. Now the great thing about it is you can also pick out the RSS feed for this and add it to your RSS reader so it's easy to keep track of what people are saying about you in Twitter. Another place that you can go is TweetScan. And TweetScan basically does the same thing but with a little extra added functionality. So check that out. You can also search photos. You can go to Flickr for instance and search for your name there. And you'll see any photos that have been tagged with your name. You can also search for some of your friends and maybe if you're in those same photos add the tag yourself. So if you're a casual web user you may never have a need for this. But sometimes it might still be good to see if an old friend mentions you in a blog post or comment or tweet. So it's worthwhile doing every once in a while or at least knowing how to do it. If you are a web professional then it's definitely worthwhile to see who's talking about you online or who's linking to your blog or web page. And you can also use this to track your competition so it does come in handy. So this week marked the very first edition of the MacMost email newsletter. Hundreds of people subscribed and I sent it out yesterday. You can subscribe at macmost.com slash newsletter. I included a summary of what went on during the week in Apple and Mac News. I included links to all the videos, a quick tip, even product reviews and recommendations. So check it out and sign up before the second edition comes out. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.